There's been warm weather across much of Europe and crowds have flocked to beaches, parks and riverbanks as governments start to ease restrictions after weeks of lockdown. In Greece, the reopening of beaches coincided with the first heat wave of the year. Some coastal businesses have reported a brisk trade from the rental of sunbeds and shades. Beachgoers must maintain social distancing rules and alcohol, music and group contact sports are banned. And as Evelyn Laverick reports, people have been out and about across the continent. Parisians enjoy the weekend sunshine in the new post-lockdown environment. But there was alarm when 483 new deaths over the previous 24 hours were reported mainly in care homes. It was a sharp reminder that the crisis is far from over. And maintaining social distancing appears to be more difficult for some, a major concern for the government. Nonetheless, it didn't stop President Macron from praising the public's efforts at a World War II ceremony on Sunday. The French have won this battle because it's the solidarity and the spirit of responsibility of our fellow citizens that has made it possible to stop the epidemic. Meanwhile, in Spain, where they have once again applauded health workers, the news was good. The death toll has dropped below 100 for the first time in two months. But Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez is still seeking a final month-long extension of the state of emergency that underpins one of the strictest lockdowns in Europe. The restrictions are being eased at different speeds across the country. Over half the population is now entering the second phase of de-escalation, meaning people can shop in small stores without an appointment and meet in groups of up to ten. But hard-hit Madrid and Barcelona remain in the first phase. In Italy, shops, restaurants and most importantly hair salons are now open as the government further eases restrictions in what the Prime Minister has called a calculated risk to put the country back on its feet. For many, it can't come soon enough. I'm going to mass tomorrow because the churches are reopening. I'm in bad shape with this hair. The barb is the thing I miss the most. But if leaders get it wrong, they soon know. In Belgium, the Prime Minister was given a guard of dishonour as health workers turned their backs on her ministerial car. It was a clear protest at the government's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic and the country's high mortality rate. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.